Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the brakes front and rear on our 2008 Kawasaki KLR 650R. Not much to it. Just need to lift it up. I'll show you how to do the front and the rear and then also check them to see, well, if they actually need to be replaced or not. So let me get this thing lifted up, go grab a couple of tools and I'll show you how to get it done. All right guys, this is a skill level one, so it's gonna be a pretty easy procedure. Now let's go over some of the tools that you're gonna to need to get it done. Basically, you just need a 3 8 ratchet, an eight and a 12 millimeter just socket, and you need a five millimeter Allen, and just a basic flat blade screwdriver. Other than that, if you would reference our, our parts diagrams, and plus that will help you get more of a mental image of how things are taken apart, and more importantly, how they go back together. So once you have your parts and your tools together, we can get it done. All right, well, let's get these uh, brake pads on the rear swapped out. Go ahead and get this bracket out of the way. Otherwise, it makes it really difficult to get down to that, uh, that lower bolt that holds the, uh, the caliper bracket. But before you remove that, let's go ahead and break loose these two um, pins right here that the brake pads actually ride on. Because I guarantee you, it's a lot easier to do it out here with it still mounted, then after you uh, remove those two bracket bolts, now we can get those out. All right, looking at these, they were actually in fantastic shape. Uh, the wear limit on these is actually, uh, you can run it all the way down to a thickness of one millimeter. And these look practical, practically new, but I do want to go ahead and show you the procedure of how to get them swapped out. Take a screwdriver, if you would, just turn it and compress those uh, pistons back into their bore all the way back. Now we can go ahead and remove those two pins that actually run through the brake pads. And that was, uh, they're held in place by just a five millimeter Allen. that they just lift out. I don't see any leaking around the uh, the seals so those look to be in good shape. I mean like I said these uh, the pads I took off they're practically new. I mean if you go and compare them <laughs> it's barely anywhere at all. Uh, what you were looking for if they were worn out is the wear limit is actually uh, one millimeter and that coincidentally is about the thickness right here. See where that channel ends? Well, if you can't see this channel, your brake pads are done. So at that point, they need to be replaced. All right, next, we just need to reinstall the new ones. Have to push against the spring just a little bit to get those pins through. Just get them started. Then we'll get the other one on. straight through. All right. At this point, we'll just run them in, just hand tight. Carefully seat them all the way back so that the gap's completely open. Don't want to twist real hard and damage the surface though. Get our 12 millimeter bolts back in place. snug down. Now we can go back and tighten our Allens and replace this little bracket that's holding our uh, brake line in place. All right, to finish it up, we just want to pump up the cylinder. Otherwise, First time you ride off, you're going to hit the brakes, and guess what? It's going to go all the way down, and you're not going to stop. That'll complete our, our rear brakes. Now, let's switch around to the front, and I'll show you how to replace those. All right, let's get the front set done. It's actually almost a repeat of the rear, so let's go ahead and get to it. This one, I think we can leave the bracket in place that's holding the actual uh, brake line. So let's go ahead and at least break loose 
those two five millimeter pins that are going through the brake shoe. Now I would expect that these probably have about the same wear as the rear, which is almost zero, but you would um, inspect them the same way. Let's see if I'm right. Because most people, and I say most, wear out their rear shoes before they wear out the fronts. And yes, almost nowhere. But let's go ahead and collapse the, uh, the pistons back into the, the cylinder bores. Now we can go ahead and pull the pins all the way out. Something I didn't mention on the rear brake pads are these pins. These are in pretty good shape, but if there was some buildup on there, you'd need to wire brush that off so the, the brake pads can actually ride and not be impeded. So you know, be aware of that when you're pulling yours apart. Yeah, very little wear. A little bit of damage right there, you see that? So something may have gotten caught up in the brake pads. It got caught in between the rotor. Rotor looks good. I don't see any glazing. Just a normal wear pattern. So, soaking up our pads and go ahead and get them replaced. All right, go ahead and put those in. The inside set, push them down on that spring. Get your pin just started. Same thing for the other side. And now, get your outside in, push down, all the way through. Get these hand tight, then we can get it remounted. All right, there's plenty of room there. Get our 12 millimeter bolts back in. Get those snug back down. And do not forget to tighten down those two pins. And with that, now go ahead and pump up your front brakes. Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. Uh, there is one more thing. You need to follow me over to uh, our brake bleed video because pretty much every time you replace your brake pads or your rotors, it's a good habit to go ahead and uh, go ahead and bleed the brakes. So if you would, find that on our YouTube channel, and I can show you how to do it. Well, listen, if you need any of the parts that we use to do this, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com, and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.